Item box in ending. In the ending sequence of Luigi's Circuit, there's an inaccessible item box located deep under the map, sort of like the Donkey Kong ones from earlier. Not sure why this is, but it was probably just put in accidentally. Funky Stadium Skybox. Despite Funky Stadium taking place indoors, it actually has a skybox that is technically used but never visible during normal gameplay. It's actually the same one from DK Summit. Luma Dies in Ceremony. This is hopefully a meme, but I think it's commenting on how the Lumas in the end credits and awards ceremony appear to have different colors. So naturally, the most likely explanation is that Luma died in a car crash and was replaced to keep the fans from demanding increased safety measures in Mario Kart. Naturally. Bowser's Castle Cannon So we know there's no cannon on Bowser's Castle, but for whatever reason there's an unused sound effect for the cannon loaded up when Bowser's Castle is raised. This could suggest that there was a cannon at some point, but it was removed. Ending Screen Me Oversight In the ending screen, there's a square where the M logo should be on the shoulder of the Me. It's a small bug that can actually be fixed relatively easily by messing around with the model, which fixes it to look like this. Race and Replay Glitch If a ghost file overflows and you watch the replay while hovering over the restart button, you'll be put into a time trial race which, once completed, will soft lock the game. You can actually see it in this video. Mario Circuit shouldn't exist. This is obviously just a meme. CTGP2 So this was likely just made up for the iceberg because of how popular CTGP is, and everyone knows that all good things obviously need a sequel. But to get serious, Mr. Bean basically adds anything we need into CTGP, so it's pretty unnecessary to make a whole new one. Now there have been proposed alternative projects here and there, but none of them have ever managed to even get close to CTGP in scale, and in all honesty, we probably won't ever see a sequel. But I also said that in my Wii Sports Iceberg video a month before Switch Sports was announced, and no, I'm never going to let that go, and maybe once I've said it, it'll happen, so who knows, if tomorrow there's a CTGP trailer dropped, you can thank me. Minimap icons are bugged in live view. In online play, if you watch a live replay and switch from one character to another, the shadow drop and the character's minimap icon will move to the right instead of remaining in the center. It persists until the race is finished. Mission Game Mode 7 Mode 0x07, which is actually the 8th mode, though referred to as the 7th in a popular Mr. Bean video, has absolutely zero code in the game, meaning the devs either skipped the number 7 or completely stripped this game mode of all of its code, which is weird because we know they leave plenty of stuff behind in this game. This game's files are like a kitchen sink, it's just full of random stuff, but for whatever reason this game mode isn't in there. Was it perhaps something so dark and horrible that the devs were forced to remove it? Not a chance. But is it fun to speculate? Absolutely. Allie videos. Some of Allie's first YouTube videos on his More Allie side channel were of Mario Kart Wii. He has a 24 episode series that you can still watch. Unironically playing battle mode. I believe this is a meme just commenting on how basically no one plays battle mode that much because it's not nearly as fun as racing. If you do unironically play it though, good for you. I'm happy that you're happy. Unused Coconut Mall Assets in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Okay, this is super interesting. So when Nintendo went back to create a version of Coconut Mall for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's DLC, they actually used materials that weren't in the original but that were supposed to be. Essentially, they took data that appeared in the files of Mario Kart Wii, cut content, or accidentally cut content, and they fixed it in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version. B. Squobe pointed this out. It's a couple of very small details like an added pianta and some benches. You can find them in the original game's data, but they weren't actually put into Coconut Mall, but they've been added for the new version. It's pretty cool that Nintendo went all the way back to Mario Kart Wii's files to fix this. King Boo SC Glitch If you try and do the same character glitch with King Boo, the game just crashes. Moonview Highway Inverted Pyramid North of the minimap model on Moonview Highway, there's a teeny tiny inverted pyramid that you can only see with the model viewer. It obviously doesn't fit in with the map and makes little sense. Missing Coconut Mall Block Right around here, there's a piece of the wall missing on Coconut Mall. You'd probably never notice this while racing the track, though. Matsuoka Shadow 
For this entry, you'll need to know who Shuzo Matsuoka is. Matsuoka is a retired Japanese tennis player who co-starred in some Wii commercials where they actually make their own Miis. These Miis would be sent out to Japanese Wiis via Wii Connect 24 as a part of a promotion from Nintendo. Now for some reason, when you go to select a Mii in the rankings menu, you can see a compressed version of Matsuoka's Mii's shadow. You only see it briefly, but it's such a strange detail. Nintendo must have assumed that they could use this as a placeholder shadow and that the community wouldn't figure out who it was, but obviously we did. Wall clips are intentional. This is sort of a joke, it's almost certain that Nintendo didn't intend for wall clips to be in the game, and that doesn't seem to fit in with intended gameplay, but who knows, maybe some aspects of the physics were intentionally not patched up because they made the game more fun. Likely, this was just due to bugs not being discovered during testing. Some of these clips are so insane that I have no idea how Nintendo could have predicted them being used. Stray Pixels on Title Screen this is an extremely slight detail that you might never be able to get out of your head once I point it out to you. On the title screen for the game, you can see a few colored pixels to the right of the Wii logo. They're just chilling there without a care in the world. They're only there for the Mario and Luigi and Peach screens, but it's such a weird little detail. Super Grinding is an Easter Egg so super grinding is an incredibly difficult strategy requiring tools to perform and it's unlikely that Nintendo anticipated it being in the game whatsoever. Maybe though, just maybe, it's an elaborate easter egg that Nintendo planned all along. Moonview Highway is Japanese road system propaganda. Many video games contain hidden messages. As you might have noticed, the cars in Moonview Highway drive on the left side of the road like cars in Japan. In most countries, cars drive on the right side of the road, which is actually a bad thing. Since most people are right-eye dominant, it's better to have them seeing oncoming traffic with their better eye. And there does seem to be evidence that left-hand driving is safer. So is Nintendo saying something about left-hand driving? Perhaps poking fun at Americans for their inferior driving system? Who knows? DDR start line in tournaments. Very strangely, in tournament mode, there's always a start line on the minimap, which is nothing out of the ordinary. But in Dry Dry Ruins, it's missing. This is probably just a little oversight, but it isn't noticed that frequently because tournament mode isn't played anymore. Mario Kart Black is official. Mario Kart Black is a 2010 texture pack from Mario Kart Wii created by Rubits with some dark themes. Mario Kart Black is also the name of a pretty lame creepypasta involving the game, and obviously neither of these are official in any capacity whatsoever. Hop Dodge Loose Definition This entry refers to the fact that a hop dodge kind of refers to slightly different techniques, and there's an ongoing debate about what truly is and what isn't a hop dodge. There's a good video here that explains the controversy. Walmart is the reason Funky Kong was added. This entry has to do with Walmart Canada Gaming tweeting about Funky Kong, and perhaps this is some allusion to a larger Walmart Nintendo conspiracy theory, but that's a subject for another video. CTGP Police Japanese Mario Kart player Siro got a visit from law enforcement during a CTGP update, which he joked about on Twitter. The police had nothing to do with CTGP, so this is just a meme. Acceleration A0 and A1 So the creator of the iceberg explained to me that what they meant to say here was acceleration S0 and S1, which are unused values stored in the game. That's why they're so low down on the iceberg. Magic Cruiser is literally a dead Kamek. Is Magic Cruiser a dead Kamek? This is super suspicious since you can't play as him in the game. However, these bolt looking things here led me to believe this is actually metal and not a person. Mr. Bean is a Nintendo employee. You might think Mr. Bean could be a Nintendo employee based on how much he knows about this game, but this is just a conspiracy joke. If he worked for Nintendo, he would have made his discoveries a lot earlier because of insider information, and in reality, he's just a dedicated, awesome member of the community. Losing Racer This is a spoof entry on the iceberg, probably just originating from the way the racer faces off of a cliff in the losing sequence. In the game, you survive falls much greater than this, so this is obviously not the correct or intended interpretation. Bowser Bike True Meaning Based on the creator's response to this question, this is a joke. Sorry guys. The Shock is Funky Kong's alter ego. This entry comes from a pretty funny comment from this YouTube video, which is basically just a recording of all Funky Kong's voice lines. Yeah. 
I'll go ahead and read it for you. I invented a whole storyline around 25 seconds. I thought he was saying the shock, and I imagined the shock is Funky Kong's alter ego who's really good at racing, has superpowers of some sort, and is triggered in the same way Shazam is. If you combo right, it sounds like he's exclaiming how he's not the shock, which I thought would be like Clark Kent saying he's not Superman. On the subject of Superman, I made Toadette his lowest lane, and Baby Luigi his successor. Donkey Kong... <laughs> Nick... Nick... <laughs> Nicknamed Dong, <laughs> nicknamed Dong, kept getting hit by all colors of shell. And Wario is supposed to be some kind of mafia boss, but I beat the game before I could develop their characters. Also, the Shock's nemesis is supposed to be reality, but I never even figured out who reality was. After Mario Kart Wii, the Shock became so good at racing that he ascended beyond time, and that's why we haven't seen him in any other Mario Kart since. Nobody is supposed to say the Shock, or he will attack them from the beyond and mess up whatever you're doing. Sypnosis. Don got sniped. The Shock. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let me know if you guys want to hear the full clip of me reading that off, because I genuinely lost it when reading that. I have no idea. I have no idea why someone would sit down and, and type out something like that, but that is the most imaginative and creative thing I've heard all day. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Hey all, so I apologize for any change in voice quality here. I have to use my phone for this last entry. Ending credits frame 2610 is a specific frame where Koopa Troopa's model swaps from the high poly to the low poly version just for one frame. This happens when the camera is far from the character, so this could mean that the camera got just far enough for one frame that it required a model switch, but I'm not entirely sure. Cowboy Jed True Identity So we don't actually know who this actor is. He's a fascinating character because most Wii commercials at that time followed a similar format and it wasn't anything like this, but yeah, his identity is just unknown. NOE3 this final entry comes from B. Squo, where he talks about him looking through footage of the top 10 rankings when the game first came out, and he noticed a person named NOE underscore 03. He then speculated that this could be a representative of Nintendo of Europe, and it makes sense that they'd be ranked so high since they were able to play the game before release. Now obviously this is a stretch, but he references an instance of an official Wii in the Internet video from Italy with a player named NOEMAC, so perhaps there was a semi-official nomenclature for accounts associated with Nintendo of Europe, that being NOE and then whatever else. This is just a theory, this could be a copycat or someone who has some other personal attachment to the name, but who knows. Alright guys, I'm so glad you stayed to the end of the video. This was super fun to make and I hope that you learned at least something today. If you want to get back into Mario Kart Wii, I encourage you to check out the community as it's very much alive and well today. I want to again thank Chillin Zero for creating this iceberg, Bento Cage for all the help, seriously I could not have done it without him, No Clip for having all these awesome models, and B Squo and the cutting room floor for having so much information. I encourage you all to check out my other Nintendo videos and know that there's more Nintendo icebergs on the way, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see it. Also, like the video and drop a comment if you have more trivia to share or if you just want to share your favorite Mario Kart Wii memory. That's all for tonight, guys, and stick around. Good night.